everyone and welcome to my channel. Sorry I look rough. I didn't want to put on makeup for like a 15 second intro so just like ignore this but today I'm going to do a makeup collection. I'm going to be doing a new makeup collection kind of soon because I am getting a new vanity and new setup for my makeup collection so I'll do that when that happens. It's probably going to be in like a month so not too soon. And then a makeup declutter will be coming before that, so make sure to stay tuned for that. I'm going to start posting a lot because obviously I have more time in quarantine to film and edit and all that. So anyways, make sure to subscribe and follow all my social media, which I'll have on the screen and down below in the description box. And I hope you enjoy this video. Alright, so I filmed this already yesterday, but... I talked for like ever and ever so I'm just gonna talk less in this one um I will be doing a makeup declutter soon I'll try to link it down below when I post it and I'm also gonna do another makeup collection video when I redo my vanity because I'm getting a new vanity because this is just like a desk and I've had it forever so I haven't been able to get it. I was supposed to get it for my birthday in April, but I haven't been able to get it because of Corona. But I should be getting it soon and I'll do an updated like storage and how I store my stuff, whatever, when I get that. But let's just get into it. These are both acrylic organizers from, I think they're both from Bath and Body Works. <laughs> Not Bath and Body Works. Um, both from Bed Bath and Beyond. I'm stupid. But this one might be from Home Sense. They're just basic. You can get them anyway. These are my setting sprays. I have MAC Fix Plus, Morphe, Continuous Setting Mist, um, Urban Decay All Nighter, and Mario Badescu Aloe Cucumber and Green Tea. I mostly just use these two. I have dry skin and so you'll notice that with a lot of the stuff I have it's based off of my dry skin because it's really annoying and it's hard to find stuff that works. I have nail stuff, um, an eyelash curler, a little Sephora mirror, a mini MAC Fix Plus to take if I'm just like going somewhere for a weekend or something. I don't know. And then a mini um, hourglass powder. This is what I bought originally to try the powder out. There's only like a tiny bit left. But I thought I'd just keep it for when I go traveling because, um, which I haven't done yet. I've traveled and like before Corona and I didn't even take that. It's supposed to be for traveling because the bigger one is annoying to lug around. Um, then I have these two Stila liquid eyeshadows the glitter and glow or whatever this one's in gold goddess and this one's in kitten i have these two primers they're both becca the top one is the backlight priming filter the, and then the first light priming filter is this one i've never used these i bought them in a kit with a few other becca things i just bought it for these two things but i still haven't used them because i don't really wear primer that much which i should because I have too many, but I don't. Then I just have two lip things. This is a Buxom lip plumping lip cream, full on plumping lip cream. This one's in White Russian. I've still never used this, but this is fairly new to me. This is the Morphe liquid lipstick in Virgin. Never use this because I never wear lip stuff. If I do, I'll show you what they are in a minute. This is a Morphe eyelid primer i just got it because it came in a set with i think this and the um the sponge and it was like cheaper to get them all together than to just get the mist and the sponge together i think that's why i got it now is the little drawers the first one is like powders or like whatever face stuff just little nars sample of Laguna bronzer. I use it a couple times but I always forget about it but might as well get the use out of it. This is a hula thing. I've had this forever. The butter bronzer by Physicians Formula and I know everyone loves it because it smells good or whatever. I hate the smell of 
all coconut things. Um, so I just don't really like this and I can smell it when it's on my face. But like the actual product is good. It's just the um, smell bothers me so much. I don't know if anyone else had this. But when I was younger I had a Ken doll to go with my Barbies. And he smelled like this. Because he was like a beach whatever he had like a swimsuit or whatever so he smelled like this which is funny um then my blushes are this nars why can't i open it orgasm just a sample i've only used this like a couple times i don't really wear blush because my face is so red by itself and peeks through all the time every foundation by the end of the night so or the end of the day so Earl norman blush in peakwood it's just super natural i don't know if merle norman is everywhere but it's in my province and i know a couple other provinces in canada so then i have this highlighter this one's just an extra one um it came with those primers in that set it's in moonstone but i already have a mini in moonstone so it's just in there for now these ardell lashes in natural this 117 i wore these to my grad so they're like kind of old and i've never worn them since but i just keep them just in case um then i have a Too Faced melted matte in cello like i said i don't really wear lips so but this is just if i want to it's a really pretty color i don't know if anyone likes these anymore i've only used it like once but then I have this Becca Glow Gloss, um, it came in that set. Also, um, I've never used this. Forget my nails, I had to take all my nails off because of Corona and they're still healing. Fenty Gloss Balm and this is in Diamond Milk and this is what I use when I do wear anything on my lips. I just like it. It's a really nice, I don't know, I think. Then I have this Tardis Lip Paint and it's in birthday suit i've never used that i think it came as a birthday gift in sephora like a couple years ago so i don't even know if it's good still but i still have it but i don't use it this is the fenty gloss balm in a fussy i'll use this sometimes as well but the fenty gloss balms are definitely my go-to this is just a blistex it's like medicated or whatever um a blistex berry um, a Laneige lip sleeping mask sample and then for some reason I have this random skincare origins high potency night vitamins I don't know resurfacing cream I've never used this but I bought a set of origin stuff and all the other stuff in the set I quite like I'm gonna put this a different part of my vanity with some skincare so I actually use it in the last drawer I have the lashes which if you know me, I never wear lashes because I'm absolutely brutal at putting them on. Um, these ones are from Pure. They're in the style socialite. I guess they fell on top of each other, but that's what they look like. I looked like a girl with really bad lash extensions when I wore them, and I don't know if that's just the style or if I just am not used to the look on me. Could be a bit of both. These are the Lily Lashes in Miami. I've never worn these, but I bought them for when I want to wear lashes because they're just good, everyone says. Um, do a lash glue and then a brush on lash glue just to take on the go if I do wear lashes. Um, and then I have these Ardell 110s. It's just like a pack of them. I've worn them like very few times but i have worn them now here is this container i also forgot i have my um palettes down there are another part so i'll show you those as well um first i have my powders this is the hourglass veil this is like the big version of that little one this is like the best um not foundation powder if you have dry skin then this is the only other powder i have it's the fit me and i have it in number five fair um, I use this for like carving out my contour. I'll use this in parts of my face that I don't get dry. Then I have a Fenty matchstick and this one's in amber. It's like a contour one. I really like it. I know I'm kind of like late to this. I only got this I think around Christmas this past year. 
but I like it when I do clean contour. Then I just have some foundation samples. Um, yeah, I don't know. Primers and highlighters, pretty much. I also have an eye primer, eyeshadow primer. It's MAC in Painterly. This is the Glam Glow Glow Starter. Mega Illuminating Moisturizer. Um, I've never used this. I think you got this for your birthday last year. Your Master Prime by Face Studio from Maybelline. This is the Blur and Red List Control. I don't know if this works or I just like pretend it works in my head. This is the Hangover RX Primer from Too Faced or whatever it's called. I don't know if it's Hangover X. I couldn't tell you. Um, I don't really like this just strictly because of the smell. It's also supposed to be coconuts, but it smells like dill pickle to me. And it's always smelled like dill pickle, so it's not that it's bad or something. It just is what it smells like to me. This is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enrich Face Base. And the Tato gift set. Um, this is the Silk Canvas Primer. It's okay, I don't really find it does very much for me. But it's not bad. I have a Smashbox Primerizer. It's like pretty good, but I don't think it actually like moisturizes my face that much. But it's not bad. I don't know what that is. <laughs> this is a Milk Highlighter in Lit. This is the Anastasia um, Beverly Hills Loose Highlighter in Snowflake. I like it, but I mostly just use it on my body if I use it because I don't find it is very highlighting on my face. Mini Becca Moon Other Moonstone, which I've actually used. Um, this is the Becca Champagne Pop, which I used to use every single day. I have pan, like the tiniest bit of pan in it. This is probably one of my most used products. This is currently my favorite, Anastasia and I'm Lazy Highlighter. I think it's so gorgeous and it looks so good on. The Wet n Wild Mega Glow in Precious Petals. I don't think this one was that blinding on me, but I also didn't try that hard, so it might be really good. <laughs> then my foundations. I'm very picky about my foundations, I would say, because of my dry skin. My go-to just everyday foundation is the Infallible Pro Glow. I have two. This one's like basically empty. It has like one or two uses left. And this is my backup. I have it in 201 because I'm pale. But if you have dry skin and just don't really want like super, super high coverage foundation, this is a really good one. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD. This one is alright, I don't think it's really like that good for dry skin, but it's also not super drying. Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. I don't think this is also very good for um, dry skin. People that say it is good for dry skin, I don't think they really have dry skin because it like is so patchy on me when my skin is dry but I can wear this in the summer when my face is like getting a little bit more or more oily because of it being hot out so I'll wear it this summer and get finish it up um, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills luminous foundation this is one of my favorite foundations I quite enjoy using it sometimes it looks a little bit dry around certain parts of my face but it's definitely one of the best foundations I've tried. Too Faced Born This Way. I'm in the shade Swan. I haven't been saying all the shades for all of them, so I don't know why I just did for this one. This one, um, I just watched a video from Miss Sierra Alexis. Go check her out. She's one of my favorite YouTubers. Um, and she mentioned this, and so I'm glad that someone else mentioned this. Some days it looks so good on me. And it looks so just flawless. And then other days my skin looks so dry using this. And she said similar for her in her video. So I'm glad someone else feels this way. But like when it looks good, it looks really good. So I enjoy this one. And finally, this is an unpopular opinion. <laughs> it's the Fit Me Hydrate and Smooth. This is the lightest shade and it looks really dark. It only looks kind of dark on me, I think. <laughs> But it looks really dark in the container right now. But yeah, this is a hydrate and smooth instead of the matte and poreless. And I know everyone loves the matte and poreless. I kind of want to try it, but I think it'll just look horrendous on me. But this one you can get um, pretty good coverage if you just add a lot. So you just have to use more than you normally would. But that's with like 
every hydrating um, foundation, but this is a go-to. Right in this front has a lot of skincare, mostly moisturizers, and this is my Blistex lip conditioner. I use this every day. It has sunscreen in it. These are just gross kind of used q-tips for taking off mascara off my eyes if I get it on my eyelids. These are my beauty blenders I use every time I do my makeup. It's one of those ones that changes color. This one is just the pink one. The Drunk Elephant Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. Honestly, I haven't used this. The Tatcha Water Cream. I don't really like this. I don't find it to be a very good moisturizer for dry skin. But I use this on my neck when I'm doing like my full out skincare routine. Clinique Dramatically Different um, Moisturizing Gel. I've used this like a couple times and it was fine. Nothing special. It's definitely better for like, oily skin. Two Drunk Elephants. Drunk Elephant um, Moisturizers. The first one's the C Firma Day Serum. And then this is the Be Hydra Intensive Hydration Serum. This is Laneige Sleeping Mask. Another Blistex. This one's like more intense. The Ole Henriksen C Rush Brightening Gel Cream. These are just two samples of moisturizers. This is the Lala Retro Lip Cream. I've heard this isn't that good. Um, this is the Glow SV Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer. I'm just going to try both these. This is my everyday moisturizer, and yes, it's basic and cheap. It's from Olay. It's Beauty Fluid Lotion. It's the best I have ever used, I've ever found, and it's cheap, so it's nice. You get it from, like, Walmart or whatever. This is just an Olay sunscreen, face sunscreen. Okay, and then the last couple things, I have a Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. just have like beauty blenders and clips to put my hair back and stuff in that one, not very interesting. One's a real technique, so one's the Morphe one. Benefit Roller Lash and NARS Climax. This one's like almost out. Trooper KVD beauty or whatever it's called now um this is like i never use this but i keep it just for the on time liner i just suck at doing liner so that's why i never use it this is my brow container section i just like benefit brows if you can tell there's a few anastasia but the best for me is benefit the ones i use all the time is the brow and I use them in shade 5. I'm getting a new one of this and of the Kim brow because they're both kind of drying out. So these are Kate. I bought some refills of these. The Precisely My Brow I use every day. This is just a different color of it and a mini because I was trying it out. This is the Goof Pro face to use this one and I think my eyebrows didn't look that great when I used it because it's too thick. It's like one of those triangle ones, I can't get it to come up. But it's one of those triangle ones so it's pretty thick. And I bought like a kit around Christmas of Anastasia brow stuff just to try. This is a brown wi brow whiz in dark brown. Um, this is like the dip brow gel. I've only used this like once, just the gel. I don't mind it if I don't touch my eyebrows, but if I'm touching my eyebrows, which I tend to touch my face a lot, um, they just get so crunchy and hard and I don't really like that, but it keeps them in place. I have the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in Swan as well. The concealers are lighter than the foundations, if you didn't know. I love this. So good. This is like my everyday concealer though. It's a Fit Me by Maybelline. I use five mostly, but I have 15 as well for like if I have pimples or something. I have the Instant Age Rewind from Maybelline. This is just, like it's good, not bad. Not my everyday, but I like it. This is my palette area. I just have like a desk as you can see, um, so I just use like this part to hold all my palettes. I should mention here, I have a Sephora collection of lash stuff, mostly mascaras. My two mascaras right now are 
from here. I just like trying all these and it also came with this pair of lashes from Huda Beauty and these are Scarlet number 8. But I just like trying new ones. It might be kind of a waste of money but who cares. This is the Kat Von D or KVD Beauty Contour Kit. This one's the um, powder one and this one's a cream one. I've only used a cream one like once or twice. I got it for cheap at Winners. So I just bought it because I wanted to try it. I don't really like it that much from what I've tried, but it's okay. I'm just going to move over here because I have the Anastasia Contour Kit. I also got this for cheap at Winners. It's okay, but I definitely like this one better. Eyeshadow palettes. I have two Anastasia ones. The Sultry, which is so beautiful. I got it for Christmas a couple years ago. Last year. Not last year, but like 2018. Modern Renaissance is definitely like my most used palette currently. But I haven't done eyeshadow very much lately, which I need to get back into it because I love doing eyeshadow. I have a Steal It In The Light, which I know is super old. I don't use it because it's so old, but it just holds a special place in my heart, so I'm, I keep it for a while. This is like the most used palette that I own, but because I used to use it every day, the same look every day. This is the Essence How To Make Nude Eyes, and I Obviously, Essence is really cheap, but these eyeshadows are super good. I definitely recommend trying this out. This is a BH Cosmetics Rock and Sunset palette. It was just one of those ones when you order for them from them, they just sometimes give you free palettes. I just got this one. <laughs> um, Naked Basics, really old as well. This is my first palette I think I ever owned. At least, like, high-end. I used to take this to dance competitions and do my dance makeup with this. The mirror, like, comes off. <laughs> so, it's quite used, but this one also holds a special place in my heart. So, I keep it. Then I have the BH Cosmetics. Take me back to Brazil. Um, I wanted to call it a palette, but I didn't know how much I would use it. Which it has turned out to not be very much. So I'm glad I only spent a little bit of money on it. But it's good for like how much I use color. To be fair, I haven't done my eyeshadow like at all. So I'm not when I do, I'm not going to do a colorful look. <laughs> I have the Tarte Toasted Palette, which I love. It's kind of like very one color story or whatever. But I still really like it. I think it's really pretty. This is another BH Cosmetics um, palette. It has shadows and blushes, but I've never used them for blush. This is the Novu Neutrals. I'm not going to be able to open this with one hand. I just got this because there's so many neutral palettes out there. You don't need to spend a bunch of money on them, and I like this palette. It's, like, kind of boring, but it was cheap, so if I need, like, a boring color like this, I have it, and I didn't spend a million dollars on it. Naked 2 is also probably one of my most used palettes. I mostly use T's because it's really good crease shade. But yeah, this is one of my most used as well. I've had it Naked 3 forever. I don't really use it. I used to use it a little bit, but I never like want to just do a pink eye or whatever. But it's cute. And finally, I have this Too Faced Christmas in New York. It's like a chocolate one, so it smells like chocolate. You know, all the Christmas ones just look the same. It's like quite a few years old. I think I was still in high school when I bought this. Um, but it's cute. And okay, so that is all for my makeup collection. Thank you so, so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and turn on the post notification so you know when I post again. Hopefully it's soon. <laughs> also follow me on my social media which will be on the screen and down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!